Hi, this is Scott from ChemTalk. In this video, we are going to show the most colorful experiment we've ever seen, the vanadium oxidation state experiment. What you are looking at now are beautiful crystals of pure vanadium. The crystals look multicolored in bright light due to a micro-thin coating of vanadium oxides. Vanadium, a silvery metal, is the 23rd element of the periodic table. It was discovered in 1801 and named after the Norse goddess Venedis, known for her beauty and fertility because it has such a range of colorful compounds. Vanadium is mainly used as an additive to steel. It can play a biological role and has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity. Some organisms like sea squirts can actually accumulate vanadium in their bloods. As a warm-up experiment, we are going to add concentrated nitric acid to vanadium crystals. This reaction is a little violent and as we pour in the nitric acid, you will see vanadium 5 nitrate being produced and nitrogen dioxide emitted. Then we will add some water to this to produce a solution of vanadium 5 nitrate. But the real star of this show is the vanadium oxidation experiment. In this experiment, we produce four different oxidation states of vanadium, starting with the plus five oxidation state and ending in the plus two oxidation state. We'll show you how to make your own sodium vanadate from vanadium penoxide, eliminating the need for expensive ammonium vanadate. We only use zinc as a reducing agent, eliminating zinc, mercury, amalgam. We show you intermediate colors and we show you how to reverse the colors going from purple all the way to orange and red. Let's get started. To start with, we're going to combine equal molar amounts of vanadium penoxide and sodium carbonate. We heat the mixture at 90 degrees Celsius until we see a drastic color change from yellow to green. Heating it up. You can see that it's green now. We've made our sodium vanadate, which is great. It's a beautiful green color. Next, we're gonna add some concentrated sulfuric acid and you'll see it turn yellow. Now we have van vanadyl sulfate, which is vanadium in the plus five oxidation state. Now we're gonna add some zinc pellets. This is starting to already to quickly reduce the vanadium to the plus four oxidation state. You can see the yellow is turning green and then slowly it's gonna turn blue. And the zinc as a reducing agent is actually going to take the vanadium from plus five to four. And here you can see the intermediate colors and that nice greenish blue color of the plus four oxidation state. And then we're gonna make the plus three oxidation state. And then the hardest one to make, the purple solution you see, is the plus two oxidation state. So what we've done is as the zinc is reducing the vanadium, whenever it changes color, we pour it into a beaker and label it. So you see the yellow, the plus five. This is intermediate between plus five and plus four. And you can see that nice bright blue color of the plus four, green of the plus three, and the purple of the plus two. All done with zinc, shaking it up. Now we're gonna add potassium permanganate and go backwards. We're gonna go from plus two to plus three. Here's the blue of the plus three, the plus four, and as it's turning green, it's gonna get yellow to plus five. And then orange, and then red. And the red is from the actual potassium permanganate. That's the only color that's not from the vanadium. And we're done. Wasn't that pretty amazing? You'll see a link to the full procedure for the experiment in the description. Thanks for watching and we hope you visit our over 300 tutorials and experiments on chemistry, the elements and biochemistry 
on our website, chemistrytalk.org. See you soon.